with detoxifying the liver. Your favorite fruit foods, cruciferous vegetables, such as Brussels sprouts, cabbage, broccoli, uh, 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 um, um, your, your actual sprouts itself, like if you actually got broccoli sprouts too, but your cruciferous vegetables are rich in carotenoids. They also have in indol 3 carbon, what is it, carbonyl, indol 3 carbonyl, as well as sulfophane. These are really important phytonutrients that help with liver detoxification. <clears throat> so one of the best foods you can do, you want to detoxify the liver, is actually eat those cruciferous vegetables, those cabbages, the broccoli, the Brussels sprouts, all those things like that are really good for detoxifying the liver. Now, green tea. It has ECG, ECCG. I know sometimes I'm, 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 I got to go over these things. I forget them. Um, the ECCG uh, is a powerful antioxidant found in green tea. Really good for dealing with oxidative damage to the liver as well as is extremely effective for reducing inflammation. So EC, EGCG, excuse me, EGCG is the antioxidant found in uh, green tea that's very good for detoxifying the liver. Your green leafy vegetables, your kale, you know, as black folks, we like collard greens, right? Collard greens, kale, mustard greens, spinach, all those things like that are really rich in chlorophyll. Now, what is chlorophyll? Chlorophyll is the blood of the plant, okay? Like we have red blood flowing through us. Chlorophyll is the green blood flowing through the leaves. That's what you see. It's the blood of the plant. Chlorophyll is very alkaline to the body. Chlorophyll has a natural detoxifying effect. It's extremely important for pulling poisons out the liver and allowing the body to chelate metals and things like that. So chlorophyll is extremely good for detoxifying, found in your green leafy vegetables, okay? Wheatgrass, a parsley, all those things like that you want to do. Now, they say also nuts. Nuts are really good for cleaning the liver. I don't necessarily think they're really good for cleaning the liver. I think they're more assisting the liver because of the simple fact, such as like your walnuts, such as your almonds, such as your Brazilian nuts. They have a large amount of omega-3s, and those fatty acids are really good for helping the body secrete bile, and bile also releases when your body is detoxifying the liver or when the liver is detoxifying the things that's in the blood. One of the ways it releases the, uh, the toxins is through bile, through the gallbladder that goes into the small intestine and it comes out through the colon, okay? So uh, the, ass, I mean, the fats find the nuts are really beneficial for that. Olive oil. Olive oil is also really good. Why is that? Because it stimulates uh, bile to uh, release. Also, olive oil has a tremendous amount of good olive oil, not that trash that you buy that's $3. I'm talking about olive oil that's extra virgin, olive oil, extra virgin, you know, because, you know, why have a virgin when you can have an extra virgin? <laughs> why have a virgin, you know? What would you call the opposite of extra virgin olive oil? I don't know. <laughs> what's the opposite? It's not just, it's just olive oil, because if it's extra virgin, then what's the opposite of that? That's a joke. But uh, extra virgin olive oil is the best olive oil, I mean, the best olive oil you can have. It has a tremendous amount of antioxidants in it, and it also is another one that stimulates bowel production. Uh, most of your fats do that. Um, berries, so your raspberries, your blueberries, your, uh, uh, um, your blackberries, your strawberries, organic. Okay, let's go through this again. Your blueberries, your blackberries, your raspberries, uh, um, your strawberries, your mulberries, Make sure they're organic, okay? They have a tremendous amount of flavonoids in there. Anthrocyanins, okay? Found in the purple ones and things like that. Um, so you want your anthrocyanins is found in the dark colored ones. Um, and they are really powerful antioxidants. We talked about that in the last show. We talked about that a couple of shows, how antioxidants reduces uh, 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 um, inflammation because they deal with free radical damage. When the body is detoxifying or when the liver is detoxifying, it needs, it uses all these different types of enzymes like catalase and things like that to help break down uh, uh, um, these toxins that's in the bloodstream. So since the body is using all this, it is, the liver actually can become, start to develop some damage from 
all these free radicals that's caused by uh, um, unhealthy foods and things like that. So berries are really rich in antioxidants, especially if they're organic. You got the one food you got to get organic is berries because they're one of the what well, I think the, what they call it the deadly ten or something like that, or the most pesticide sprayed foods out there. So you make sure your berries are ant mean or organic. If you don't want to buy your avocado organic, okay, I can live with that. You make sure you buy your berries organic. It's worth it for this one, okay? So getting berries in. Citrus fruits. That just makes sense. It's rich in vitamin C, you know, and it also has carotenoids, some carotenoids found in there and things like that. Um, but citrus fruits, purple uh, sweet potatoes, and the regular sweet potatoes. That's another one that has anthocyanidins. We talked about that with the berries. We just talked about uh, uh, anthocyanidins and things like that. Beet juice or beetroot juice, okay? So you go to the store, get some beet juice, go to a health food store, go and get you a bottle of beet juice, really good for detoxifying the liver. Um, also, beet juice also dilates the blood vessels and it helps the body produce more nitric oxide, okay? And then also they said coffee stimulates the liver, I mean, the liver uh, to secrete uh, bowel more into the intestines to get rid of those toxins. You ever heard of a, uh, a coffee enema? A coffee enema? So when you are fasting or detoxifying, a lot of times you can get what they call a coffee enema. So it literally is a coffee in an enema bag, and you're usually using black coffee. You're not using, you know, you're not using a, 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 a mochaccino or something like that. It is straight black coffee with some water, and you do an enema, and that actually stimulates the liver to produce more bile to let those toxins go into the colon and flush them things out, okay? So coffee is really good. Also, drinking coffee helps too, but actually doing it better as a, uh, um, as a enema then you get uh, even better results from it. So you can do a coffee enema. And those things are really important um, Why you are, foods that you eat while you're detoxifying the liver and things that also help you detoxify the liver. Now, things to avoid while you're detoxifying the liver. Things to avoid while you're detoxifying. Foods that are really high in fat, okay? While we're detoxifying the liver, you don't want to go to McDonald's. You don't want to be consuming really high fatty foods. You want fat, but you don't want a very high fatty foods, and you don't want to deal with processed foods. You should not be eating salami while you're trying to detoxify the liver, okay? Don't go to your salami. I know your, uh, your, your what is it, my, my Oscar Mayer wiener has a, uh, Oscar Mayer, M-A-H-E-R, I can't even think of the song. But don't go to your Oscar Mayer wieners. Don't go to your uh, bologna. Do, stay away from all those processed meats while you're detoxifying the liver. And please, don't go out while you're detoxifying the liver. Go out to the club and take a shot of Hennessy or drink your favorite beer or anything like that. That literally goes against the effects of you detoxifying the liver. And another thing that also helps while you're detoxifying the liver, reduce the amount of sugar you want. Okay? The body creates terms excess sugar to glycogen. After it starts uh, storing too much glycogen, it turns that glycogen to fat. Too much sugar, the body stores fat, and the liver becomes fatty. Okay? So we want to avoid a lot of sugary foods while we're trying to detoxify the liver, while you're eating these foods that help you detoxify the liver. We want to avoid as much sugary